Let viewers control your OBS and do stuff like this? Nursery, it's actually in the nursery. Okay, let's go. Or this? Oh, hello, hag. Well, then you need Touch Portal, the number one Stream Deck alternative for a fraction of the price. How does it work, you say? Well, stay with me. I'll show you how to set it up perfectly, and I'll even show you how you can use channel points to have your viewers change your voice through voice mod. If you want to jump to that, then there are timestamps in the description. However, I suggest you follow along so you're sure everything's set up perfectly. My name is Mathman, and this is Content Delta. Okay, before we start, we need to get three things ready. The first thing is the OBS WebSocket plugin, which allows Touch Portal to directly communicate with OBS. To set this up, we are just gonna download it from the link in the description and give that a quick install. Once you've installed the plugin, you just need to open up your OBS and then in the tools menu, there is a WebSocket settings button. In there, you can set up a password if you want it, which for security reasons, I personally recommend. Now that that's done, we move on to step number two, which is getting Touch Portal on your computer from the Touch Portal website. Note that the link to all resources mentioned in this video is down below, so I can stop saying that again and again. You know where to find it. The installation wizard is pretty self-explanatory, but if you have any problems with it, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord. Again, link down below. The one troubleshooting thing I will say is that if you gave OBS WebSocket a password, it sometimes doesn't want to connect. At that point, go to the settings and add it manually there. That should fix it. Once it's been installed, we are greeted with the main screen. Now this looks like something that you would see on a phone is not accidental. In fact, we are going to need the phone app as well. So just grab your phone and download it from either the App Store or Google Play. The app is completely free for all basic functionalities, but we are going to need the advanced stuff. So go ahead and get yourself the pro version. The best thing about Touch Portal is how much interaction it has with other platforms such as OBS, Switch, Philips Hue. Yes, this even works for Streamlabs OBS. The first feature is the most basic one, and it's what you would expect from any Stream Deck-like app to be able to do. You can make buttons which go onto these pages, which you can press and Touch Portal does something for you. You can use this to control sources, scenes, and uniquely filters. This is something that can allow you to do a lot of cool stuff such as changing color filters or adding image overlays to your voice mod redemption. If you want to get really complex and make complex interactions which are repeated multiple times, you can go to the flow page and add a new flow. Flows allow you to set up a sequence, save it and reuse it in whatever button or event you would want to use it in. Also, if you want to change all the buttons at once, you just have to edit the flow. But the thing we are going to be using today is events. As you can see, there are already a few here, but to use events, you need the pro version. That is why upgrading is a must. Events allow us to have touch portal react to redemptions, chat messages, and more by simply inputting the commands or chat messages it should react to in the box. How we do this is coming right up, but first we need to have a little bit of a serious chat. Imagine that someone redeems a voice mod, and two seconds later, somebody else redeems a different voice mod. That would render the first one completely useless and have the channel points wasted by your viewer, right? No, it doesn't. Because you are smart and put it into a queue lane, which allows the redemptions to queue up after each other. So if you put all your voice mod redemptions in the same lane, they will never overlap and just follow each other. Before we move on to the channel point redemption, however, if you are learning something or you're just enjoying the video, why don't you go down below and leave a little bit of a like, maybe even a cheeky sub. Oh, go on, click that notification bell while you're down there. It really helps out the channel. Okay, let's open up Twitch and make a redemption. Name it whatever you want, but make sure to copy the name exactly because we need to use that later. Let's name ours Mathvin the Chipmunk. Then we go into voice mod and add a hotkey for both a chipmunk and clean. If you don't know what buttons to use or are wondering where my buttons come from, do you see those F1 to F12 buttons at the top of your keyboard? Well, in the olden days of yore, there were two rows of these keys going all the way up to F24. And for legacy reasons, Windows still recognizes them even though they're not on any keyboard and are never used anymore. So why not go ahead and use those? Oh, and make sure after assigning that the voice changer is on, but hear myself is off. 
Then we quickly jump over to OBS, add a new voice capture device, choosing the voice mod virtual microphone, and go ahead and just mute that baby. Now we go into touch portal and make a new event, giving it a name. From the drop down menu, we then select the channel point redemption event and paste the name we copied earlier right in there. So, whenever somebody redeems Mathvin the chipmunk, Touch Portal now knows it needs to do something. But what is it actually it is going to do? I like to build these actions in a logical order. So first we wanted to unmute the voice mod virtual mic. Then we wanted to mute your usual mic. In my case that is the AKG. And only then do we want to press the virtual hotkey to activate voice mod. Now we need to put in a wait command. Note that this is in milliseconds, so for every second we want the redemption to last, we add a thousand to this counter. I like mine to last 30 seconds. After the effect timer is up, we need to undo what we changed. So go back up the list and do the exact opposite. First we trigger the hotkey back to the neutral voice in voice mod. Then we unmute the usual mic. And lastly, we mute the voice mod virtual mic. Don't forget to click save. And there you have it. Your voice mod channel redemption is now ready to be used. If you have any questions, then make sure to drop by twitch.tv forward slash mathmanu. I stream every Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday where I can answer any of your questions or join a small community in Discord with a lot of people willing to help. For this example, we used voice mod, but you can do so much more from visual effects to chat interactions, and I will show them to you in the next video. For now, stream better, stream smart. Catch you next time. Oh, for Meg does not no! have a jumpy. No, 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 I'm, I'm being crawled. I'm being crawled. <laughs> oh, ow, ow, ow. No, 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 no. I can't get away. Ray, Ray. Ref, ref I'm sorry, Ray. No.